Welcome to how to compose a system message. System message is displayed in the user overview section. And here we have, you have zero messages. So to compose a message, I can select this link and go into my inbox. And I have a button that says compose message. Or at the top of my software, the compose message link. Also, I can left click and it'll shoot me right into my system message where I would complete and send a message out to any recipient. From here, I just need to select whom I'd like to send the message to. And to do so, I just left click my mouse. If I want to select multiple recipients, I hold the control key down and left click. To unselect, again, I'd hold the control key and left click again. Over here on the right hand side, if I wanted to select a group of people to receive a message and not have to hand pick them over on the left hand side, say for example, all the office managers, I left click office managers and every office manager would receive this message. One thing I'd like to point out is in this example, Mark, who is an office manager, if I select Mark and also select his title office manager, Mark will get the message, but all my office managers will as well. So if you're just trying to send it to one or two people, just go ahead and do so on the recipient side. If I want to send it to everybody, I can just left click and drag. It's going to highlight all my uh, recipients and they all would receive the message. To unselect, I can just left click and again hold the control key and that would clear them out. So I'm just going to send it to myself, Mark. And then I just type a subject, so say tax law change. And my message, very important. And if I scroll down, I can send an attachment as well. So I just browse, grab my file, hit attach file. And it's going to display as an attachment. If I want to change the name, I just left, this is my menu bar. I left click the source button. And this code is going to display. I just want to come over here to the end where it's saying attachment. I can delete that out. And I'll just say schedule A. And I select source again. And now my attachment has a title. So from this menu bar, you can do many things. Uh, bold, italicize, underline. I can change the format, the font, the size. I can even add a, a smiley face. If I'd like, um, and then from here, all I'm going to do is select send. Let me check the box urgent. So if I select the box urgent, it's just going to highlight it in brown just to bring attention to it so that the uh, recipient knows to read it right away. I hit send. Now the message was sent. So if I go to my home page, of course, I show I have one new message here and also in my user overview, I select that. To view it, of course, I'm just going to select the view icon. And I want to just explain how to reply or forward. If I want to re forward this message to somebody else, select the forward button. And again, I can select whomever I'd like to send it to. And then just hit send. Now that message was just sent out. And if I want to reply, I would just select the reply button. And whatever my message is, thank you. And then I hit send. So very simple to use to compose a message and you'll find the system messages is a, a great way to keep communication going between your staff without having to have a regular email. Thank you.